my youtube channel beginner coder in the previous videos we have seen a couple of things about lambda function and in the last video we have seen the flow from the api gateway to the lambda function how to trigger a lambda function when we call an api url so in this video we will just quickly see a demo we will create an api gateway we will create a lambda function and we will connect both so let's keep a simple code here we will return so in the event we will get an input to the lambda function and we will just add one more field channel name equal to beginner coder and we will return the event so we will just deploy it so what our lambda function will do whatever input it gives it will just add one more field channel name and it will return as a response so let's test it so in configuration presently we have given key 1 key 2 key 3 key 4 if you test this function see we got a channel name beginner so we didn't get a coder here so it is not deployed properly we will just save it again we will deploy again so let's test it now see now we have seen an extra key in the response because our code is adding it so now how to call this lambda function using an api gateway so quickly we will create an api gateway and we will connect that api gateway to this lambda function so in the search bar let's type api gateway here we got a search api gateway just click on that So presently there are no APIs created, we will just create one. So it's a HTTP, yeah, it's a REST API we are going to build. Let's build it. Welcome to Amazon API Gateway. To create your first API, we have pre-populated the import from the, let's click on OK. So here choose the protocol REST and create new API example api let's click on new api and let's name our api api demo and just click create api so now let's go to the list of apis just click on apis here so here we have created api demo the name and inside that we need to create a resources now so resources means url will have certain uh, names like like anything suppose if you if you want any students list in the url you might pass student slash and student id so like that we need to create a proper url before deploying it so first let's create a resource name just create a resource just name api gateway any resource name just create resource and if you want to create one more under this again just click on create resource just name lambda just create resource and under this we will create api method so again go to actions create method we can select what type of method we want to create we will just create a post method and just click on tick mark so now whoever calls this post method we need to call our lambda function so here we have different types so integration type we need to select a lambda function then we need to give the lambda function name which function we want to connect just type demo so it will suggest all the lambda functions available with this dem starting with name so we have one lambda function so it is showing just click on that and click on save so you are about to give api gateway permission to invoke your lambda function just click on ok so now it got saved and what we just need to do is just deploy it now we have created a resource and we have created a post method and we have connected this post method to our lambda function and so now if you go to the lambda function 
and if you see if you see here add trigger we are not seeing any triggers if you refresh this we will see one trigger is added see api gateway this function is linked to this api gateway before there was no api gateway because we didn't link this function so now we need to deploy this just again go to the actions again deploy api and deployment stage so just create a new stage let's say it is qa stage description you can give deployment description you can give it is optional just click on deploy so now this is the base url to call our function so how to call let's open a postman so what we got is this is the url this is the base url to call our api and we have created a post method so we need to set it to post then we need to give the actual resources api gateway slash lambda otherwise it won't work and we need to pass some input just keep it json key one val one for now just pass one thing and here we need to give api gateway slash lambda because we have created these two resources then under this we have created a post method so let's call this we need to get a response with an extra channel name so just see the output so yeah if you see we got a desired response now it is calling api gateway is calling internally the lambda function we have written a code to add a channel name inside a lambda function so we are getting a desired response suppose if you change the method here it won't call we will get some error see here missing authentication token it means something wrong with our call because we are calling in a wrong method if you use post we will get a desired response so this is a simple demo to call our lambda function using an api gateway so in the coming videos we have we will learn more about api gateway and lambda function and there are many configurations in api gateway and there are many versions of lambda function and many stages of lambda function and how to connect particular api to particular stage either qa suppose if you see here aliases so this is dev qa uat suppose if you want to point api gateway to uat how to do that so we will see in the next videos so please like share and subscribe my channel please also share to your friends thank you for watching